Hello everybody, this is Kianda the Smart Home and my name is Ali Reza. In today's video, I'm going to unbox Helton heating thermostat and have a look at it. This thermostat is Z-Wave 700 series and it supports a smart start and S2 security. Using this model of thermostat, you can control boilers, electrical heating systems, floor heating systems, the icing systems, electric fireplaces, and etc. Let's jump to the mission and start unboxing the device. This is the box of thermostat, impossibly thin, impossibly smart. At the back of the boxing, you can see benefits, specifications, glass color, frame color, and serial number. You can buy this thermostat in six different colors with three different frames. As you see, it has an elegant design. This is for cleaning the thermostat. Let's see what is this. Quick start guide. Security card. You can extend your warranty to three years while keeping this information safe by registering your product at this site. This is the front panel. You see the elegant design. This thermostat has two other sensors in addition to temperature sensor, humidity and light sensor. They are both built-in sensors. Also, in accessory pack, we have NTC sensor. These are used for installing and this is NTC temperature sensor. You can connect NTC temperature sensor as external temperature sensor to this thermostat. This is the back panel of thermostat. Let's talk about the terminals. These two terminals are used to connect NTC sensor or let's say external sensor. These two terminals are used to control the thermostat using external devices. These two terminals are used to connect power supplies, L4 hot wire, N4 neutral. And these two terminals are used for connecting the thermostat to heating system. This box was made to be reused. You can easily reuse this box. Let's connect the panels. Okay, let's connect power to the thermostat and see how it works. I have connected power to the thermostat. On the thermostat display, we have room temperature, floor temperature. As you see, I have connected NTC temperature sensor to the thermostat and also humidity. During unboxing, I made a mistake. At the bottom of the thermostat, we have temperature sensor and humidity sensor. Here we have light sensor. Humidity and ambient light sensors can be monitored by Z-Wave controller and used to trigger scenes. On the display of thermostat, we do not have ambient light 
sensor, but after including this device to Z-Wave controller, we have the light sensor in Z-Wave gateway. When electronic devices are operating, they generate heat. As a result, measuring ambient temperature may not be precise. The Helton heating thermostat has different additional internal sensors and compensating software to calculate ambient temperature with 10 times better precision. You can also find out how much energy you have used by specifying the power your heating system consumes. Let's talk about the bottoms of the thermostat. This is the manual heat on or off. As you see, heating is on, heating is off. This is the mode switch, comfort, time schedule, dry, and echo. Vacation or away mode, off. This button with the clock sign adjusts temperatures for different time of day. This button is setting. Plus and minus are used to adjust the temperature set point. Touch button sensitivity can be adjusted in the thermostat parameter settings. Display brightness can be adjusted manually or automatically using the ambient light sensor. We go through the settings later. Describing the mode button, I talked about the heating modes. Comfort, Echo and Vacation. This is Comfort. This is Echo. This is Vacation, as you see here. Maintain the temperature you set, which can be easily adjusted by selecting the plus or minus button. To make housework easier, Helton includes a dry mode that switches to a rapid heating mode at a higher temperature to dry floors after washing, for example. This is the dry mode. Dry mode reverts back to the previous mode after 20 minutes. MAN mode, which means manual mode, allows you to override any current schedule or mode and run the heat on or off manually. As you see, I can set heating to on or off. But in other modes, this button does not work. Time mode. This is time mode. Allows you to set a different temperature for morning, day, evening and night periods for each day of the week. The last step before going through the settings of thermostat is talking about the set points. You can see the set point temperature here and you can increase it or decrease it easily. Let's go through the settings of thermostat. By touching and holding the setting button for three seconds, we enter to the settings of thermostat. This is parameter number one. This device has Z-Wave 700 series chip inside, which allows you to use the device in different Z-Wave frequencies. If there is a need to use the device in the frequency different from the factory default, change the value. Pay attention that it must be done before including the device. Parameter number two is related to including or excluding the device to Z-Wave network. Parameter number three is related to hardware and software version. Parameter number four is related to energy consumption value. This parameter is read only. Parameter number five is display brightness. Talking about parameter number five, zero means auto brightness. Parameter number six is related to touch sensitivity. 
Parameter number seven is related to input and output configuration, relay output mode, normally open or normally close. Parameter number eight is related to external input mode. Parameter number nine is operating mode for external input action. Parameter number 10 is important. If the external floor NTC temperature sensor is used, it is necessary to select the correct resistance value in ohms. Parameter number 12 is air temperature minimum, lowest level. Parameter number 13 is air temperature maximum, highest level. Parameter number 14 is floor temperature minimum and parameter number 15 is floor temperature maximum. Parameter number 16 is related to calibrating floor temperature. Parameter number 18 is related to temperature hysteresis. Hysteresis is a technical term which defines when a heating or cooling system should turn on or off when the temperature changes. For example, if the desired temperature is 25 and the internal hysteresis value is set to 0.5, the system will switch off the heater when the temperature reaches 25 and switch it back on when room temperature drops to 24.5. Talking about other parameters, parameter number 20 is time format, parameter number 21 is day of the week manual adjustment, parameter number 2 is time manual adjustment, and parameter number 25 is dry mode time. This parameter specifies how long in minutes the heating thermostat will be in heating mode when the dry mode is selected. Parameter number 26 defines the mode to switch after dry mode operation completes. Parameter number 14 is related about the child lock restriction level. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done already. I'll see you in the next video.